all love a rainbow wave, but if you're after a more atmospheric RGB layout for your HyperX keyboard, allow us to help. In this video, we'll take you through how to tailor things for your Tarnished by designing Elden Ring-inspired Ingenuity profiles. You can find links to our presets in the description below, but there's nothing stopping you from making your own. Here's how to get started. Creating a preset With Ingenuity open, the first thing you'll need to do is create a new preset using the menu on the right-hand side. Click the Add button at the bottom left, then select New. Here, you can name your preset, and even add some related art. We'll opt for this image of us powering up the Kaled Great Rune. Looking sharp! Next, hit the plus under Game Link and navigate to the Elden Ring install folder to find eldenring.exe. It should be somewhere similar to the directory shown on screen. Linking this will ensure Ingenuity automatically swaps to your new preset whenever you launch the game. Click Done when you're finished. Making Waves with the preset prepared, it's time to get fancy. In Elden Ring, the golden light of the Erd Tree is ever-present, shining grace upon the lands between. We're going to replicate that effect with a wave function. A rainbow wave should be displaying by default, but if it isn't, simply hit the Add Effect button and choose Wave. We want our light heading down from top to bottom, so let's start by adjusting the angle to 270 degrees. Next, we're going to limit the keys covered by swapping from all light to a selection. Let's create a path all the way down the middle to the spacebar at the bottom. Already looking good, but there are far too many colours in there. To create pulses of golden light, we've dropped the number of bars on this menu down to just five. You can right-click to delete a bar or left-click to create a new one. Set the central colour as yellow, fading into orange and red at the edges and drop the gradient on those edges way down to create the effect of the light fading away. Finally, we're going to slow down the speed just a little. Oof, things are already looking nice, but we can take things further. By adding two more waves, one at 0 degrees and the other at 180, we can create a splash effect that spreads across the bottom and carries up the sides. You'll need to pick your keys and match the speed of each wave to the central one. Then, play with the fade timings by adjusting the positions of those colour bars. This can be a little tricky, but the result is well worth the effort. Filling in the gaps. Now to add some colour to the overall design. With the built-in sun effect, we can add an extra golden shine to the upper keyboard. Spread it across the function keys and the RGB bar if you have one, and it'll be like the Erd Tree's canopy covering the skies above. Make sure this is placed below your wave effect in the list, so that it doesn't override it. We've followed that with two solid colours, one a faded red with low opacity and reduced brightness across the remaining letters and numbers, and the other to deliver a touch of glintstone blue above the arrow keys. That's for all you sorcery fans out there. Feel free to axe that last bit if you're a melee purist. Again, ensure these sit low down on your list. Finally, let's add some interactivity with a triggered effect. We've opted for a fade of bright gleaming yellow and boosted the speed up to 90. Now your fingers will bring a touch of golden grace to your keyboard with every single tap. Glorious. Extra touches. Lucky enough to own an RGB mousepad or mouse like the Pulsefire Matt and Surge? Add the ultimate Elden Ring touch by linking the two together using Ingenuity's Light Sync feature. A simple sun effect will fill your room with enough golden grace that no one will dare question whether you're maidenless. Alternatively, onboard profiles. So we've got a general theme, but if you'd rather have some interactivity to your Elden Ring sessions, HyperX keyboards support up to three onboard profiles you can cycle through at the tap of a button. In this case, we've whipped up three new presets to represent Elden Ring's early Limgrave, Liania, and Kaled regions. Feel free to use our designs or get creative and adapt them into your own. Our base for all three starts by building an Erd tree using the following keys. We've then added three separate breathing patterns of golden light, picking out a few select keys across the board. Give these slow but different pulse speeds, and they'll represent the twinkling leaves falling from the tree. Finally, we'll use the same fade triggered effect as before. Limgrave. Limgrave is where you'll start exploring in Elden Ring, and it's a fittingly green place for newcomers. 
to represent this relatively gentle area, we've opted to use Ingenuity's swipe effect. We've set it slowly rotating between green and yellow across the bottom of the keyboard. Add a solid green to the top buttons and RGB bar if you have them, then swap your mat and mouse light sync to cycle through yellows and greens. Overall, you've got a pretty calming opening. Just don't aggro that grumpy tree sentinel and your colour scheme will remain appropriately stress-free. When you're happy with your layout, click Save to Keyboard and assign it to the first slot available. To save time on your next presets, start by duplicating the Limgrave design you just made. There's a handy button for that here. Leonia. Leonia is the home of Rhea Lucaria Academy, or as we like to call it, Horrible Hogwarts. The Academy towers above a vast lake, and inside, glintstone sorceries flood the air like a plague of blue pests. We've started our design by adding a deep blue in a solid border. Next, we've covered the entire keyboard in a lighter turquoise to represent the lake's surface. So long as you shift this to the bottom of the list of effects, everything else you set up will display over the top of it. Now, let's trade that fade triggered effect for a rapid explosion of blue light. Is each key tap a splash of water or a volley of magical light? We'll leave that for you to interpret. Finally, shift the light sync to a cycle of blue and turquoise to complete the look. Remember to save this preset to slot 2, then duplicate this layout for our final design. Kalid. And finally, it's time for Kalid, the infamous hellscape of, oh god, get me out of here, and what is wrong with that dog? Inflicted with the Scarlet Rot, Kalid is a monstrous mix of reds and off pinks, so let's do our best to bring that to your gaming space, eh? This time, we've ringed the keyboard in a ready pink. An unsettling start, but we can enhance it by adding a muted red to all lights. Shift the effect to the bottom of the list, then drop the opacity and brightness a good chunk. You'll be left with the golden light of the Erd Tree struggling to stand firm against the blight of the land itself. How well the colours come through will depend on the lighting of your room, so feel free to adjust them to your tastes. For the final touch, let's add a triggered flame effect. Assign this a scarlet red at high speed, and every tap of a key will send rotten fire flaring up from your fingers. Corruption never felt so good. And if you've got the kit available, a breathing red pattern on light sync should fit the tone perfectly. Save this final scheme to the third slot, and your tarnished is ready to travel. Each time Torrent carries you across the border, or you warp between Sights of Grace, a tap of the preset keys will have your setup looking the part. So, those are all of our Ingenuity designs for Elden Ring's opening area. And once you're ready to move on, you've already mastered the skills required to design new profiles fit for all corners of the lands between. What other games would you like to see Ingenuity profiles for? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll do our best to design them for you.